Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, I have a nice high school level geometry problem for you. So uh, now you don't have to be in high school in order to do a problem like this, but you're not going to get this kind of geometry problem till at least uh, you hit high school level geometry. But some of you out there might be uh, dealing with geometry in a college course. But let me go ahead and read the problem. So you can see we have a figure here. And the problem says we have line BC, because okay, so this is line BC. So line BC is tangent to circle O. Okay, so here is a circle, and it's uh, the name of the circle is O. Okay, so this is circle O. So again, we have line BC, and it is tangent to circle O at point B. Right, so here's point B. And the measure of angle ACB is 47 degrees. So what we're looking for here is what is the measure of this arc, BG. So that would be from here to here. We're looking for the measure of this arc right there. Okay, so you're definitely going to need to know a couple of uh, things here to do this problem. Uh, so I wanted to kind of just explain the problem to you so you can at least know fully what's going on. But uh, I'll give you the formulas and the uh, kind of the theorems and stuff that you need to know to solve this problem. But I'm going to give you a full opportunity to do this all on your own. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to fully explain this problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this uh, particular video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so uh, hopefully you understand the problem. Again, we're looking for the measure of arc BG. This little notation right here means arc, okay, i.e. how many degrees from here to here. So let's kind of take a look at the answer. Arc BG is how many degrees? Well, arc BG is 86 degrees. Now, if you got this right, okay, and if you just didn't even need to reference anything, you're just like, you just remembered all this stuff, that is pretty fantastic. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you a nice little happy face, an A++, and I don't typically uh, go over 100% on grades. Back in my days, in the 70s and 80s, the most you can get on a test was like 100%. Well, sometimes you get like a few bonus problems, and most of our GPAs back in those days were like a 4.0 GPA. But nowadays, you can get like a nowadays you can get like a 9.2 GPA, and maybe you get like two, three hundred percent on a test. Listen, I know there is some what we call grade inflation, but nevertheless. Uh, you really did uh, kind of outdo yourself if you got this totally right. So anyways, let me give you some few stars. You can tell your friends and family that you definitely know a lot about circles. Okay, so obviously that's what we're dealing with here. And when you do take um, high school level geometry, there's like a whole chapter dedicated to circles. So some of you are like, oh, I know about circles. I can find the area of a circle. I can find the circumference of a circle, you know, things like that. And that's excellent. Okay, those are, this is kind of basic stuff that you need to know. But when we start studying uh, circles at a more advanced level, then you start talking about things like chords, secants, tangent lines, all this kind of good stuff. So anyways, if you need help with this level of geometry, I'm going to um, uh, direct you to my high school level geometry course. Right? I teach everything about uh, what we're going to need to know for this particular problem and much, much more. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the problem. All right, so here it is. And again, I kind of explained to you what's going on. We're looking for the measure of this arc right here. And all we know is that this line, BC, is tangent to the circle at point B. Okay, we also do know the measure of angle ACB. So ACB, right? So that's this angle. We know that angle. And we know the fact that this line is tangent to this circle. That's pretty much uh, uh, all we know. And we're looking for this arc measure. So how do we do this? Well, let's go ahead and get into the first thing we need to know about the situation. And the first uh, kind of fact that you need to be aware of is anytime you have a tangent line. Now, what does the word tangent mean? Okay, this is a big uh, word in mathematics. 
And let me just ask you, okay, if I'm, I'll just kind of do a little pop quiz here. This line is tangent to this circle. What do you think the word tangent means? Now, if you're like, well, it looks like the line is barely touching the circle, well, you would be correct. Matter of fact, I'd give you a nice little happy face for that response. That's exactly what it means. A tangent line is a line that just touches, uh, you know, it could, it could be something other than a circle as well. It could be like some sort of, you know, like parabola or something like that. You could have a tangent line. So the point of tangency is one point. That's the line touches the graph, in this case, it's a circle at one exact point. So this is what we call the point of tangency. Now, uh, now that we understand what a tangent line is and the point of tangency, the next thing we need to know, and this is really the key to unlocking the, the solution to this problem, is that uh, from the point of tangency, the tangent point right there, Okay, when a, when a line, a ta when you have a tangent line or a line tangent to a circle, that point of tangency, okay, is perpendicular when we draw, if we draw a line from the point of tangency to the center of the circle, i.e. the radius right here, uh, it is perpendicular, okay, forms a perpendicular angle. So like here is the radius right there, right? So where can we find uh, the point of tangency, well, let's just draw a little perpendicular angle. It would be perpendicular to the radius right here, right? So it would be something like there. That's where the point of, uh, that's where the tangent line would lie. Now, I'm kind of not expressing uh, what we call theorems in uh, geometry. I'm kind of using uh, loose language and kind of some figures here, just so all of you out there can understand I don't need to be like overly technical about this, but again, when you have a tangent line or, or the radius, okay, and you kind of have to think about it both ways. Here's a point of tan. This is the point of tangency, so a tangent line will be perpendicular to the radius. Okay, so this is fact number one, and let's go down and now apply that knowledge to the situation. Okay, so remember, uh, let's go back up to the problem so you don't forget that the measure. All right, this little M right there means measure. That's all that means. The measure of angle ACB. So ACB is right there, right? It's 47 degrees. So we know that. Now we know something about tangent lines and the radius. So now let's put this together here. Okay, so here's ACB. That's 47 degrees. This was given information, okay? Now, and here is our tangent point, remember, this line is uh, its point of tangency is point B. Now notice the figure. This this line is going through the center of the circle. Oh, okay. So that means this is the radius right here. Okay. So in other words, if this is the radius, okay, this whole thing is the diameter. This is the radius. Well, then this is has to be perpendicular. Now what does that word mean? Well, it means that this angle is 90 degrees. Okay. So I have two angles, I have this angle and this angle of this triangle, so I can easily get this because there's 180 degrees. The sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, so all I have to do is subtract away this and this, these two angles, and I'll have this angle there. So that'll be our next step. So if uh, some of you are like, oh wow, okay, now I see where this is going. Well, that's the whole purpose of me doing this video. All right, so, uh, so we'll just subtract away the 47 and the 90, de uh, 90 degrees, and we end up with 43 degrees right here. Okay, so now this is really important because this angle, okay, if you kind of notice, this angle has something in common with this arc right here. You see this? So our angle 43, uh, 43 degrees has something in common with the arc in question. Remember, we're looking for the measure of, of arc BG. Okay, from here to here, along the outside of the circle, we're looking for how many degrees this is. All right, so at this point, we need our second kind of uh, piece of information to figure out the rest of this problem. Okay, so what is that? Well, here is one of the many, many things you need to know about circles, again, at the high school level. So when you have an inscribed angle, Okay, so here, this is what we call a chord, all right? It's just a line that goes from 
one edge of the circle to the other. Okay, you got to make sure you understand these uh, this kind of terminology. So here's one chord, here's another chord. So this is an inscribed angle inside of a circle. So this is kind of our situation, right? So right here, if you kind of look at what we're looking at, this is an inscribed angle as well. So you kind of have to match up the pattern of what you're dealing with. So we have an inscribed angle. And here we have a lovely little uh, kind of formula about inscribed angles, a theorem, uh, if you will. Uh, but basically what it says is this, the measure of, of angle ABC. So here's ABC. The measure of this angle right here is one half the measure of the chord. So here, this chord right here, AC, okay? So if we have the measure of the chord, in this simple example, we do, it's 100 degrees, right? This, or the, I'm sorry, not the measure of the chord, measure the arc. My apologies. So we have arc AC. So we just always, to find the measure of this angle, we just simply take one half of this arc and we have this angle here, okay? So this is the formula we need to know. Now, in this case, uh, we don't have the arc, we have this angle. So how can we get this arc? Well, it's not gonna be one half, we just need to double it, right? So we have this uh, piece of information, so the arc is going to be double the inscribed angle, okay? If we had the um, arc, we would take one half of it and we'd have the inscribed angle, but if we have the inscribed angle, we just have to double it and we get the arc. And that's all we need to do to finally solve this problem. Okay, so here uh, we have our 43 degrees. We're looking for the respective arc here of this uh, inscribed angle. So all we have to do is double it. So 43 times 2 is, of course, 86 degrees. So that is the measure of that arc right there. Okay, so hopefully you had fun with this problem. You're like, oh, very interesting, Mr. YouTube Math Man. You know, uh, it's like, uh, wow, there is a lot of stuff to learn about circles. You weren't kidding. Yes, I am not kidding. Anything I say, I truly mean. I've been I'm teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now that there is a lot of information. So you can't possibly expect yourself to just remember this without taking notes. You must take notes. And again, if you're, let's say you're taking a high school level geometry course and the chapter you're studying right now is circles. So you should be reviewing your notes. You should be taking detailed notes and you should be using your notes when you're doing your homework. And you know, um, your, your teacher is likely not going to let you use your notes on tests and quizzes, but they may. Okay. But here's the deal. You still need to know the information. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.